Hey there. Well, here is a special and rare book. It's entitled La Passion du Coteau, literally translated The Passion of the Knives or A Fervor Over Knives. And this is the book that Wenger published back in 1993, 26 years ago now, to commemorate their 100th anniversary. And this is really the only time they did such a thing. And it's really the only really reliable source to give you historical information about Wenger, their company, their manufacturing processes, and their knives. Now, my good friend and trusted Swiss knife dealer, Stefan Schober, actually has a few copies of this that he's offering for sale. Uh, he has some in French, slightly used, but in excellent condition like this. And he has some German that are new in the box. And they're, very, they're really quite rare, as I'll show you here in a minute. But I wanted to show you the book, so if you wanted to take advantage of that opportunity, you could get in touch with Stefan. So let's just take a look at the book. Uh, first of all, it's um, 12 inches by 8.5 inches, so it's a, a nice size book. It is hardcover, and it's in this uh, kind of a blue denim or canvas hardcover. I believe it's 136 pages. It's very high quality, glossy paper. Um, let's just start at the back. I want to show you one thing. Of course, this, this one is in French. So here in French, it reads that there are only 1,200 of these made uh, in French, 800 printed in German, and only 500 in English. So as you can see, they're quite rare. And as Stefan has explained to me, a lot of those were given to employees or wingers business partners uh, libraries took some so there's very few out there to own really i'm just going to thumb through here so you can kind of get an idea of the quality of this publication and the quality of the illustrations here are some pictures of their more modern manufacturing facilities Some of their older ads, some of their ads. This book is large, so it's hard to get all in the um, frame here without you know, banging into everything, but I'll do my best. Here's an image you've probably seen online, the progression of Winger's shields. Just gorgeous photos. Oh, look at that. And a lot of the different knife models, new and old. All the way through this book, um, there are images of their older knives. Uh, here's the progression of soldier knives. Uh, here's the blueprint for the original Model 1890. A discussion of how Winger went into space with the astronauts. Some of their earlier processes. A lot of historical photos in here. Lots of pictures of their older knives. Here's one that's really cool, a carved metal one that actually says Tahara on it. It has one of their silverware polishing machines on it that they called Tahara. And that's an old knife too, see it's got a solid screwdriver. That would be wonderful to own something like that, wouldn't it? Here's some more illustrations of their older knives. Their old plant. More historical photos. Picture of their employees, and I guess that's, uh, I really don't know what that is yet. I haven't looked into it. Growth, sales. There's another old carved knife. Here's a section that talks about the fire that they had in 1986 that destroyed everything. Uh, their manufacturing facilities, all their inventory and stock, and all their records. So this is why it's really hard to get um, a lot of detailed information about the history of their knives. Your best bet's probably this book. It's a picture of one of the owners. There's another old knife. Just a great picture of some of their cutlers at work. Uh, some of the early owners and their family. 
There's one of those Tahara silverware polishing machines. That was actually a good business for them for quite a while. I believe that must be Delamont. Here's some um, just financial information and early business records. Here's an old knife that actually has a drill bit as one of its implements. Isn't that great? Man, that'd be great to find one of those. This kind of gives you an idea what to look for. Here's another old one with uh, buffalo horn scales. Uh, there's a picture of Theodore Wenger, the namesake of the company. Uh, here's his predecessor from Catellery Swiss, Paul Bouchot or Boucher. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. More cutlers. So you get the idea. Um, it's just really chock full of great information and illustrations. There's, I think, their first electric powered motor. One of their first facilities. And actually, in the beginning of the book, there's just a discussion of the history of knives. You know, all the way back to Bronze Age. Stone Age. And then there's a lot of fun introductions. A forward. It's just really a classy publication. It really is. So, as you can see from all those illustrations, you really don't need to read French or German to enjoy one of these books. Um, but let me just show you a little trick that I use. Um, you may be familiar with it, but uh, let me get an illustration here we were looking at. Maybe something simple. Uh, here's, yeah, the progression of the shields here. So, what I did is I got my phone, and uh, don't laugh at my old iPhone, it is paid for. <laughs> um, but I downloaded the free app Google Translate. It's hard to do through the camera, excuse me. Here we go. And so, um, this is Google Translate, and you turn the camera on, and just hold it over the text that you want to translate. Now, it will immediately start trying to translate it. And that usually doesn't work very well, so I'll take a picture of it. And then you highlight the text that you want translated with your finger. Okay. And it gives me the English. The exclusive design of the Swiss cross, inscribed in a square with rounded corners, is a distinctive sign of the Swiss winger knives. This form was fixed in the 1970s. So how about that? It's quite easy to do, and so if you're really curious about a certain picture, it's really easy to translate it. I would think with the rarity of these books that this would be quite a good investment in the future because they can't really do anything but go up in price. <clears throat> it's probably rarer than any wing or knife that you may have in your collection. Uh, so if you're interested in one of these, um, I think the best thing to do is just to give me your email in the comments section, and I'll have Stefan reach out to you, and he can... Uh, discuss the special price that he's offering to my viewers with you in terms of payment and shipment and that type of thing. Uh, now, I do know that Stefan accepts PayPal, so that makes uh, buying anything from him really easy. And just a quick word about Stefan. Um, I vouch for him. I've done several successful transactions with him uh, by now, and they've all ended very happily. Uh, he's a man of his word, and so when you buy something from him, you're going to get exactly what you thought you, you were paying for. All right. Thanks for watching.